Do you have black smoke coming out of your exhaust? Sorry to tell you, but you're f Okay, fine, I'm just joking. Black smoke out of the exhaust just means that your car is running rich. What do you mean running rich? Like more money? No, rich simply just means that there is more fuel than there is air. You need to have a proper air fuel mixture, rich being too much fuel and lean being not enough. Now, some of the most common causes for your car to be running so rich could be a faulty front O2 sensor, a leaky fuel injector, a faulty mass airflow sensor, or maybe even a fuel regulator problem. Top five cheap mods for your car. If you have a manual transmission car, I would highly recommend getting a short throw shifter. It decreases the stroke in which you have to shift the gears and makes the driving feel a lot better. Moving to the outside of the car, I'd recommend almost every car getting a front lip. This thing costs honestly like 40 or 60 bucks and it makes the car look a little bit lower, more aggressive and a lot better. Next thing I would recommend is getting a set of lowering springs. This car is actually on air suspension, so it's not the same. But that car, for example, get some lowering springs, decrease that wheel gap, looks a lot better. Now that we're on the topic of suspension, you could also go on the used market, maybe find a rear sway bar just like that guy there. It's gonna increase your driving feel, make it feel a lot better. And the last good, relatively cheap modification I would recommend is getting a good intake system. Better airflow, better breathing for your engine, and you're all good. Flat 4 engine is actually one of the best engines ever built. Wait, so you don't need these anymore? No, I don't need it anymore. What about this? Okay, I might need that. One of the biggest advantages of a flat engine is balance. As you can see, we have the three most popular styles. We have an inline engine, V-style, and flat. For the inline engine, we have all four cylinders going in the same direction, depending on the firing order. The V-style, they're working kind of against each other, but not really. Flat engine is the only one that's fully opposed so it can have a nice balance of power going this way and this way, balancing out the power and having it very, very smooth. Flat style engines like this, as you can see, are actually very short and have a lot of weight out wide. What that means for you is the engine can sit very low inside the engine bay and give the car a nice low center of gravity. So you actually ain't gonna tell them this is your second engine. Here's the difference between E5 and race cap. They both have a high octane rating, which means they both have a high resistance to knock, which means that both of these guys give the vehicle a higher potential to make a big power. A gallon of E5 can cost you about three bucks, while compared to a gallon of race fuel, which is about $10. E85 actually comes from the name that it has about 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. Although these numbers can actually vary. They actually have different ideal air fuel ratios. It's about a 9.8 to one for E85 versus about a 14.7 to one for gasoline. If you're running E85, you actually have to end up running about 30% more fuel.